Jakeway. Um, welcome to my kitchen and Kim's easy weeknight meals. Okay, so over the weekend I prepped some pork tenderloin, which is one of the easiest things to make during the week. It's really quick cooking. So I um, took the silver skin off of it, took the fat off of it, we put them in the freezer. This one I took out of the freezer last night. I just chopped it up before I kind of got on with you. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put it in this little bowl without trying to make too much of a mess. And we're making, um, by the way, a beautiful stir fry tonight, the sweet and sour pork. Uh, so I'm gonna use pineapple, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this juice, you know, a couple tablespoons, right? In there, and I'm gonna let that kind of hang out and just kind of take on that flavor while I'm chopping up everything else, okay? So we're doing a sweet and sour pork. I'm just gonna kind of let that sit over there. I already have some rice cooking, okay? just a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, and um, I'm gonna make the sauce for you. So I already put in a couple tablespoons of just sugar, okay? I'm gonna add, some, again, some of this juice, or you could use water, but I think this just adds more flavor. Third a cup of that pineapple juice. I usually eyeball things, guys, but I'm gonna try to measure for you, okay? I'm gonna use, oh, before I do this, I'm gonna, I, oops, we're really cooking in here. This is one tablespoon of cornstarch. That's gonna be my thickener. Okay, that's gonna thicken everything up in there. And then right from there, my little bottle that I just dumped over, I'm gonna do three tablespoons of my ketchup. This will give it a really kind of tangy flavor. This is gonna be better than takeout, I promise. Okay, so we get that, seal that up, let's put that down. I'm gonna do two tablespoons, I love rice wine vinegar, I just love it. It really has like a really clean taste. So I'm gonna put some of that in there, a couple tablespoons. And again, it doesn't have to be exact, but a little bit. See, I don't measure often, I'm like, where's my teaspoon? All right, and I'm gonna put in couple teaspoons of my tamari, or you could use soy sauce, this is low sodium, um, whatever you have. And that looks good to me. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir this up, my little whisk, and let it hang out. This is gonna be so good. And if you want it spicy, you could add a little crushed red pepper in there, all of that would, would be good, okay? So that's just gonna hang out, do its thing like the pork is. All right, so what I've got here, that I don't need, I have like about, you know, an inch or so of um, ginger, two, you could use two or three smaller cloves. This is one huge one, so I'm just using two of these cloves of garlic. And I'm just gonna grate these up using my little rasp here. I love this tool. And I love this cutting board. So if you guys are into um, doing a lot of cooking, our friend made this for us and it's absolutely gorgeous. You can tell it's had a lot of use. I use it every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And um, it's KRH Woodworking. And um, we'll put that in, we'll put that link in the description below, okay? So you'll have that in case you're interested. He makes beautiful boards and um, all kinds of cool things. Okay, so we've got some of that there. I'm gonna do my garlic. I will go back and finish grating that ginger. I just don't feel like you all need to watch me do that. And again, when you're doing your veggies, so I still had um, some veggies in the fridge, right? That I had left over. So I'm using two different types of onions and I'm just giving it a good, I want them kind of chunky. So I'm just kind of cutting down like this. And I want some nice big chunks like that, okay, 
and that's the waist. And then this one, I'm just gonna go like this. Again, give me some, give myself some big chunks. Okay. And then with the Peppa, I just like to kind of go around the edges like that. You can do however you like, but I just find this a little bit easier. And that way I'm, I'm kind of missing all those seeds and I'm missing the membrane and everything too. And if you got a little bit extra membrane, that's okay. We just cut it out like that. Okay. And again, I, I like big chunks kind of in a, in a stir fry or sweet and sour. I just want to kind of know what I'm getting. Or you can cut them as small as you like. Don't waste that bottom piece. Whoops. Get back there. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I love scallions. I just like the, the flavor of them. I like the, the texture. So again, I'm going to chop those up. And I kind of like to put those in last. I like those to still be, have a good crunch in them. Okay. And big chunks there. All right. So I'm just going to give these kind of like a, just a rough kind of chuck. You can tell I'm not a professional chef, right? Got to work on those knife skills. Okay. So I'm just going to finish grating up the ginger and then we'll be back and I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, so we're ready. Um, the rice is already cooked. It looks delicious. Just took about 20 minutes, right? I'm gonna season. I took the um, pork out of the pineapple juice and kind of drained it a little bit. I didn't want it super wet. And I'm just gonna salt and pepper the uh, pork. You want to just, you know, kind of layers of flavor on everything, right? But I'm super excited because who doesn't love Chinese food, right? Especially takeout and you can make it at home and it's so much cheaper and delicious. And you know what you're putting in it. So I'm gonna do this actually in a couple of batches, I think. It'll just cook a little bit faster. Actually, you know what? I think this pan's gonna put it off. We're gonna do this in one round. Okay. Yeah, that will work. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook. I'm not gonna cook it all the way through. It's just gonna cook about two to three minutes, and then I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna put it on a plate, and then we're gonna do our veggies. Okay, so I'm gonna take the pork out of the pan. Remember, it's not, it's not cooked and that's okay. It's gonna finish cooking when we um, put the sauce in, okay? It's gonna have another two or three minutes in the pan. And I'm gonna leave um, all this in there. I'm not gonna drain any of this out. Just adds flavor to whatever we're doing. Um, and in just a second, I'm gonna put this pan back on the heat and we're gonna get the veggies in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put in the bell pepper and the onion. And you know what, like these things you could do actually if you wanted to, like I don't really mind chopping, it doesn't take me too long, but you could have actually pre-portioned the veggies over the weekend and put them in the freezer. So, or you know, if you knew it was gonna be in a couple of days, just leave it in the fridge and that would be fine. Um, and it would just be one less step that you're doing when you come home from work, right? We're all trying to make this as easy as we can, but tasty, right? So that, so I'm gonna cook these to the nice and a little soft, but I still want some texture to them. It's Chinese food, right? I don't want them all, I don't want them cooked to death, right? And then I'm gonna add everything back in. I'm gonna add the, the ginger, uh, the garlic. I'm gonna put the, put the uh, pork back in. I'm gonna put the sauce in. I'm gonna add some pineapple to all of this, and it's just gonna be amazing, all right? See you in a few. All right, so I have to say, it smells wicked good in here. I've um, got the peppers and the onions going. I'm gonna add my ginger and my garlic. Give that like about a minute. Kind of zhuzh it around a little bit. Love Chinese. Very excited. Okay. Gonna let that go about 30 seconds or so just to kind of get it going. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna put the pork back in with those juices. You want that, that all is just adding more flavor. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put my pineapple in. Pour it right in there. I like a lot of pineapple, I put the whole can. 
And you know what? I'm going to add our scallions. Because we just got about another three minutes or so for this to all cook. Got to add to that sauce that we made. So again, the sauce was just um, some ketchup, some pineapple juice, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of um, rice wine vinegar, cornstarch, um, what am I forgetting? A little bit of uh, tamari or soy sauce, and a little bit of salt. Okay? So that's all going to pour in. That, remember, that cornstarch is what is going to thicken it up. It'll, that will just take a few minutes to do. I'm going to get this all going. All right, and you know what? I, I'm putting a little crush red pepper. I'm just feeling it tonight. You don't have to. We kind of like things spicy around here. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit in. A little sweet, sour, and a little spicy, just like me. Okay. So you're gonna see as this starts to come up to a, a little bit of a bubble, you're gonna see the sauce thicken. I'm just going to let everything come together. All right. I'm going to see you at the dinner table in just a minute. Okay. I really couldn't wait to get to the dining table, so I'm going to take a little taste for you now. It just smells and looks so good. I'm going to get a little bit of the rice. I love pineapple and a little bit of the pork. Mmm. Sorry, but that is so good. Better than takeout, right? You can make it in, in your home. The rice takes 20 minutes, right? But while you're doing the rice, you can make everything else. And like I said, if you wanted to chop up your onions and peppers and put them in your freezer and just pull it out the day you're gonna use them, excellent. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you make the recipes. Um, I'll have it in the description below. I'll have a link to them. And if you're finding these valuable to you, I'd love you to share it with your friends. Let's build this community. We really can get dinner on the table. We can do it all. All right. Thank you for tuning in to Kim's Easy Weeknight Meals.